Hello everyone and welcome to this video overview of our fifth evidence-based instructional practice focused on questioning. My name is Misty Higgins and I am a professional learning coordinator in the Division of Program Standards in the Office of Teaching and Learning at the Kentucky Department of Education. This year we are focusing our work around addressing two essential questions. So first, what evidence-based instructional practices best support Kentucky educators in designing classroom instruction aligned to the Kentucky academic standards? And then second, how might teachers effectively implement these practices to help students reach the grade level expectations within the CAS? We are currently in year three of our three year implementation plan again that is focused on evidence based instructional practices and the goal of this work is to really help educators build a deeper understanding of several evidence based practices based on the current research and to support teachers as they implement those practices into classroom instruction. So why a focus on evidence-based instructional practices? Well, first and foremost, because all students deserve access to quality standards aligned grade level instruction. And we know from the research that the quality of the day-to-day -day instruction that students receive can have a significant impact on their overall achievement. So by intentionally and strategically selecting and utilizing evidence-based instructional practices, teachers help ensure that students are working towards reaching those grade level expectations within the CAS. We are releasing a total of six evidence based instructional practices modules and three were released in the fall of 2021 and three will be released in the spring of 2022 and here on the slide you can see the release dates for each of those individual EBIT modules. While there are uh, numerous EBIPs that we could have chosen, these six were strategically selected because they support students in reaching the intended learning outcomes across all content areas and within the CAS. For each of the six professional learning modules, we will be releasing a video overview, facilitation considerations for structuring the professional learning, a general overview that defines evidence-based instructional practices and why they are critically important for student success, an introduction on the released evidence-based instructional practice that synthesizes the current research on that practice, and then finally, content-specific resources to support classroom implementation. So now let's take a closer look at the fifth evidence based practice of questioning. So there are five key areas that are included in the narrative for questioning. The introduction provides a quick overview of the importance of using questioning to support students in reaching the grade level expectations within the CAS. The second section examines what the brain research says about questioning and the role that it plays in the learning process. Section three takes a closer look at how teachers can deepen student under con or understanding of the content through intentionally planning formative questions ahead of time that will provide the right evidence of student thinking aligned to the intended learning outcomes. Section four focuses on the role of surface deep and transfer learning questions and the importance of aligning questions to the intended depth of the Kentucky academic standards for each content area. And then finally, section five looks at the importance of empowering students to generate and ask questions to increase their engagement and deepen their understanding of the content. In addition to the narrative portion that summarizes the current research on questioning, we have also included content specific resources focused on the following three areas of support. So connections between the practice of uh, questioning and the cast for that content area, planning considerations for implementing this practice in each content area to ensure equitable access and opportunity for all students to learn the standards within the CAS, and then finally strategies and resources to support educators in implementing this practice into their classroom instruction. Thank you for watching this video overview and as always if you have any questions please feel free to reach out. 